Ruthven residents have come forward with complaints of neglect and poor homes from the same landlord. Today, our Donna Williams joins us live with the story of another resident's problems, and this is one that we've been following for quite some time. Donna, good evening. What's the latest tonight? Good evening, Ben. I have been to five homes that were all owned by the same landlord. Many of the tenants were afraid to speak on camera because many of them are simply afraid of becoming homeless. The tank busted, been here for about seven months with my uncle. You know, off and on, landlord won't fix nothing. Jerome uncle, who did not want to go on camera, tells us he was in a bind. I had nowhere to go. I had nowhere, I had nowhere to go at all right, right then. Since Friday, we've shown you three different homes, and the common factor is all of these homes are owned by the same landlord. There are sewer issues in each one of these homes. Jerome says the smell has become unbearable. We deal, it, we, we deal on daily basis. We, we stay gone a lot and we keep door closed from the smell coming in. And Jerome uncle showed us the septic tank that burst. Hey, about two weeks ago, it was smelling so bad. Look at that. You can see the toilet paper with that. Come that's out and come old. Look at that. And, and I'm just getting tired of it, man. I ain't really getting tired of this now. I can't keep living like this. I, mean, I, ain't up, I ain't up dead, man. I ain't up dead breathing that mess there. We just live in bad condition right now. So, you know, we, we ain't got no other choice but to stay here or find somewhere else to go. But while we're here, we're just trying to live day by day. Now, tomorrow, we are planning to release the name of the landlords. We are currently looking for legal options for tenants who feel trapped in deplorable conditions. We are also looking for laws for renters in Alabama. All right, an ongoing investigation, and Donna Williams on top of that story for you here from News 18. Thanks for that report tonight.